welcome to my Assassin's Creed Brotherhood multiplayer session of Wanted. This is part 9 of Starting Over and I'm just going to show you here that I've now become a Grand Master and I'm only level 14 so I was a bit shocked at that. Anyway, moving on, um, as you can see here, this match has already started, you know, it's at least like four and a half minutes into the match. And so you might also notice that this uh, video is a bit longer than normal. It's because, uh, well, I, I was I was just kept getting thrown into uh, games that had partially started. And I really wanted to start on a full match and it just wouldn't let me. So I had to play this. I didn't really have much of a choice. And so after this one, I try and bring you like a full match. <laughs> so uh, yeah, this is a bit disappointing that, you know, it's five minutes into it. So I am playing as the priest because, well, it was the uh, quickest character to pick at the time. It was pretty much hovering over it anyway. You know, I mean, 8th place, just gone up to 6th. I mean, there's not really very much I can do, you know. There's just no way that I'm really going to get um, anywhere close to 1st because there just isn't the time. There's people that already have like two and a half thousand or three thousand points and there's just no way that I'm going to catch that up at all. So oh, I was really disappointed that I had to go through this match. I wouldn't have minded if I was on my normal uh, Subject 17 gamer tag because well, that it wouldn't have bothered me, but because I'm obviously trying to level up and show progress, it's just not good to have to start a match halfway through. But I get these nice little things that keep popping up on screen, so I'm pleased about that. <laughs> I suppose I have moved up fairly quickly. I mean, eighth place gone like up to fifth now, so I don't suppose I could really sneeze at that. I don't know if you knew this, but you can actually hear when your target um, uses a disguise. You know, if they're not in your line of sight, you can actually hear it happen. So, I mean, the music in this game is really important. It will give you, you know, quite a few clues. Um, as I quite often mention the whispers in the music, um, people still ask me what the whispers are. Um, what happens is when your pursuer gets close, you'll start hearing whispers within the game music. But you need to have your game music turned up to um, at least 10. Uh, to be able to hear it clearly and the closer they get the louder the whispers will be and if you still aren't sure what these whispers are I'll um, give you a little tip uh, if you search YouTube or, or if you have the Assassin's Creed 2 soundtrack uh, or if you don't search YouTube for the Assassin's Creed 2 soundtrack and you want the track that's called the Animus if you just listen to that, you'll hear the whispers near the beginning of that track. Those are the exact whispers that they use in Brotherhood multiplayer. So those are the whispers that you need to listen out for. Now for, the, uh, for listening to your target using a disguise, actually that's a bit of a hard one to try to explain. It kind of sounds like a twang. <laughs> Or, or something, I, I really can't explain it. Um, you know, for, for instance, like uh, when you have a pursuer on you and your pursuer is killed, um, you'll hear some kind of like strange noise and you'll see uh, the red mark uh, drop off of, you know, your list of pursuers. Uh, it's a little tiny bit similar to that, I suppose, um, it, but not quite as heavy. It is really hard to explain, but it's just like a twang in the music, and that's how you know when your target has just used a disguise. So you'll then know not to look for that particular persona. You're looking for a different one. So I don't know if you knew that, but there you go. It's just a little tip. 
So we're closing in on the end of this match and obviously nowhere near first place and there was no chance I was ever going to get that anyway. Um, but yeah, I, I had no choice but to play this through because the game just wasn't giving me any other match that started from scratch. So I suppose I was a little bit cheated out of trying to win this. Ah oh, well, you know, what can you do? I did actually try for a rematch after this and it just didn't work. Um, uh, you know, there weren't enough people in it. And also I get another profile set as well, so I wanted to go in and like set the profile set up. And so I had to go and try and start a new ranked match. But again, I get put into another one. Uh, oh, I actually finished third here, by the way. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I, I wasn't too downhearted about it. I, I thought that was actually all right going. I got to level up anyway. So yeah, in the next match as well, uh, the, the match has already started. In fact, no, the one the one I did go into after this one, I forgot to press record. <laughs> and so I had to quit out after about a minute when I realised, you know, that I hadn't recorded. So this is the next match. Now, don't laugh. I'm playing as the blacksmith. Um, player still one, two, three, which is one of my subscribers asked me if I would play as the blacksmith and I reluctantly did. I don't really like the blacksmith at all. He gives me the creeps. <laughs> but yeah, I, I thought, well, okay, I'll, I'll do it just this once. So yes, this match had already started. It's about a minute into it already. So people have already been scoring in this match. And also, I'm in the match here with other Grandmasters that I know are um, level 50 and they are using poison in this. And so once again, the matchmaking system is a big fat failure, really, because, you know, at my level, at this level, which is now level 15, I still don't have very many capabilities. And so there's no way I should be placed in matches, you know, with people that do have the ability to super score. It's just wrong. I don't know if you remember from one of my other videos, I, I, I just, uh, I'd said that I would never underestimate an unranked person again. So anytime I see an unranked person in a match now, I'm... I'm just going to assume that they're experienced and they're not new whatsoever. I mean, sometimes you can really, really tell when somebody is new. But yesterday, um, I was playing somebody that was completely unranked, but I was on my Subject 17 gamer tag, and they kicked my ass. And I thought to myself, there is no way in this world that you're new to this game. And funnily enough, after the match ended, that person sent me a message and says, oh, it's me from your friend list, Focus. I thought, I knew it. I just knew it. And uh, uh, Focus is an extremely good player. I have actually uh, put him in one of my player spotlight videos uh, because, wow, I mean, he really is very good at this game. Tremendously good. And so, you know, to me, when I saw that there was an unranked person uh, and they were kicking ass, I knew that there was something not right with that. But yeah, uh, yeah, he just kicked my ass by about 500 points or something like that. But uh, <laughs> yeah, it was, <clears throat> yeah, you don't fool me. <laughs> so yes, never underestimate that unranked person. I actually can't believe I'm at a Grandmaster level already i mean i'm only level well you know i was level 14 because the templar grade pyramid reset on monday and that's when i got ranked and uh, you know I, i've barely scored you know i've not been playing this very long on that game on this game of tag so how the heck i became grandmaster that quickly i'll never know um I didn't take much i think i get some pretty good stuns in this match 
contract and blah. But yeah, I still think it's unfair that I'm being placed against people that do have the ability to super score because, you know, I get poisoned a couple of times and it's really kind of quite unfair because I can't match those points, not really. I mean, even with that, uh, even with that score there, 650, you know, somebody using poison could easily score more than that. You have taken the lead. I do actually manage to get greater variety in this as well, again, so that really pleases me. I I'm. I'm actually really happy with the way this match went, uh, to, to be honest. I, I mean, I didn't really enjoy finishing in the position that I did, just because I think it's unfair. The person that finished first does have poison, and they're not afraid to use it. <laughs> Really, really want to get this Heliquin, but she's just walking quick herself as well. So I have some whispers, and it was taking a while to generate a target for me. I kind of have no choice at the moment to do a little bit of roofing because uh, I need points because somebody's using poison. Ordinarily I don't roof. Okay. So I had two pursuers down there but I'm um, also my target and now I can't find my pursuers. <laughs> but that's where I get my greater variety which is nice. And I was hoping to get a focus on her, but that just wasn't going to happen. She just wasn't cooperative at all. <laughs> now I'm just going to go and get myself slaughtered. <laughs> As I often do, straight into the arms of a pursuer. <laughs> yeah, there is no need to throw that smoke bomb, love, because he's my pursuer and I'm dead. <laughs> Oh, crying out loud. I'm actually really um, pleased with the final score on this because um, I, I think the entire score as a whole is 10,000 points because I've completed a couple of challenges as well. And uh, I also get, you know, p uh, average kills and things like that, podium and whatnot so it turns out to be a really nice uh, score but you know it's a shame that the bonuses don't count um, you know when you're leveling up it only goes by the game score rather than you know what you get for bonuses yeah you're not gonna get past me <laughs> break your back I didn't really want to oh yeah I oh, that's it that's where I get poisoned ah Damn it. <laughs> that was just so unfair. If he hadn't have used that, there's a really good chance that I would have won this match. I suppose it's my fault, really. I mean, I, I could have done better. You know, for instance, I, when I went after that Heliquin and I only got the 150 points, I shouldn't have walked so quickly. Um, you know, I, I could have possibly have scored more points. So, in a roundabout way, I, I could have done better. But, you know, I just didn't want her to get away because <laughs> there's a very good chance that, you know, at some point she would have ended up spotting me and I would have just got a stun and I would have wasted like a minute just walking after her. At this point I have actually tried to play for extreme variety because I saw that I had greater variety 
but for the life of me I just could not remember what bonuses I still needed. Um, I, I completely lost count and I, I didn't see. Thirty seconds remaining. So once again, closing in to the end of yet another match, and uh, you know that this has been quite a challenge, I would say, and it is enjoyable. And like I say in you know the other episodes of this, you know, I really do recommend other people should try it, and it seems that quite a few people have now. <laughs> Oh, well, I just, there's no way I was getting out of that, is there? <laughs> no way. Oh, dear. Yeah, a double escape would have been lovely. So there we go. I finished second, and I got, like, 10,000 points on the whole, so that was all right. Not to be, uh, not to be sneezed at. So anyway, if you're new to the channel, please feel free to subscribe. Don't forget to check out the video description for the links to my Facebook, Twitter and my live stream. Thank you very much for watching and uh, I shall see you soon. Bye!